Hello everyone! Welcome back to another YouTube video. We are back with the Thursday videos here in my apartment in New York. For today's video, we are doing what I got in Paris and I always look forward to these videos whenever I come back um, from a trip, especially Paris being the fashion capital of the world. I got so many cute things that I can't wait to share with you. So I got obviously clothes, I have shoes, makeup, and skincare pretty much are the main categories. So if you love those things, you'll enjoy this video. Okay, so first thing I knew before I even got to Paris what shoes I was going to buy, I got two pairs. The first pair being this pair from Corel. Corel is a French brand, it's very, very classic, and these shoes are very classic as well. They they pretty much go with everything. I wore them a lot while I was there. They went in so many different outfits. Like I would wear them with kind of like a, a plaid skirt as more of a casual thing. I paired them with little socks. So I noticed that a lot of uh, girls were doing that and I love the look. So it's like these little kind of like babies, they call them babies shoes. Um, and you wear like a little ruffle white sock with it and then a skirt or a dress or whatever. And it's super cute so I did that or I just wore them, like I wore them with like a really nice dress, like a tulle dress, or I paired them with my like kind of tweed pink Love Shack fancy skirt when I went to Cafe du Flor. So there were so many cute scenarios where I wore these and I'm really happy that I got them and I love that they're pink on the inside. One that I had my eye on before I even got to Paris and then I ended up finding them in Le Bon Marche, which is the like the big department store on Rue de Bac. I absolutely loved it. And then next thing I also knew that I really wanted to get while I was there, which I got, were this pair of Repetto flats. So Repetto is like the most classic ballerina flat. They might have even invented the ballerina flat, I don't know, but they're a ballet store and so I went for a very classic kind of nude patent leather. I tried them on, I liked them. reason why I wanted to get them in the actual store and not online is because the sizing online is very confusing and actually when I was in there and I was talking to the sales associate, he actually said that they even changed the sizing on some of the shoes so it's even more confusing. So that's why I just wanted to try them on in person and would recommend doing that. I ended up, I'm usually like a 39, but these are a 40. And online I thought, am I a 41 or a 42? It was very, very confusing. Um, but so that, just so that you guys know in these shoes, I'm usually an eight and a half, nine inch shoes. And these are a 40 and these are the ones that fit best. Okay, I'll move on to the clothing next, I think. So I got one, two, three, I got four different jackets while I was in Paris. I'll start with the one that I wore the most. So I got this one from Rouge. That is uh, Jeanne Demas brand. She has a store in Paris and I mostly shop her online, but I was so excited to finally visit her store in person and see all the clothes. And when I saw this pink coat, I thought that it was absolutely perfect because I was in the need of sort of like a cropped coat for the fall time, like fall or spring, just those seasons where, or days where it's not freezing cold, but you just need a little, a littler jacket. That's what this one is for. And it's this like kind of boucle material. And I love that the buttons are also covered in it. And it's just got the little collar and it's cropped. It was just so perfect. And I wore it a lot while I was in Paris. And then, oh, next thing I got that I probably wore the most also was a trench coat. So you gotta have a classic trench coat. All the French girls are wearing a classic trench coat. And I felt like there was a very specific kind of style to it. It's very oversized, kind of casual, slouchy in this type of a shade. It doesn't have to be this exact shade, but something sort of like this. I liked that the sleeves had a little buckle detail on them and how the back, you know, in the back just sort of comes out like this. I don't know, it just adds a nice kind of thing to it. And then it has the tie around waist. This is also long too. So my other trench coats are not as long as this. I think they're like as long as kind of like like a really mini skirt length would be. But this goes all the way down to like past my knees. It might come down to like mid calf length, I think. 
So I saw this and I thought, okay, this is perfect. It's from Zara, if I didn't already mention that. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then I got this blazer because I thought that this would be really cool to pair with mini skirt with tights and boots. And then this is sort of a statement piece, just like a very simple white or black mini skirt. And then this over it is really the statement. I thought that it was just super cute. I don't own anything like this. It is a houndstooth blazer with these gold and white buttons on it. I don't know, I just thought that it was a little bit more elevated. I feel like you could wear it to like a really cute brunch with your friends or like a high tea or even maybe to work depending on type of office it is. But yeah, um, so I love that. I didn't get to wear it though because I didn't have the right like skirts um, like and like boots packed with me, but I know I'll get a chance to wear that in the future. And then I got this white coat, which I just thought was beautiful. I had seen it in the US and I regretted not buying it. And then I know that like Zara filters out their clothes so often, so I knew if I didn't get it, it would be gone forever. So when I saw it in the Zara there, I thought, okay, this is probably my last chance to get it. So I did and it's nice. It's My only thing about it is that it doesn't have any shape at all. It's just like, it's almost like, and I'm afraid that it reminds me too much of like a doctor's white coat, but I think if it's styled the right way, particularly with a dress underneath, it doesn't look like that at all. It just looks very nice. So yeah, I got this and again, it's that kind of boucle fabric and it's just a nice kind of off-white cream color. Next thing I got in the clothing department is a bodysuit. So I saw this and I thought that it was the cutest thing. I also had seen it in the US. This is from Free People and I, it's just like, it looks like a ballerina leotard to me and I just thought that it was the cutest thing and Jessica loved it too. She was like, you need to try this on. So I did and I don't know, it's just super fun and ruffly and I love the sleeves. I feel like for the summertime or the springtime especially, just paired with like, I could do this with a, with a pair of white shorts and it would be super cute, kind of how I was picturing it. but. I don't know, I feel like if you like to wear jeans also, this could really play up a pair of jeans really nicely. And then I got this dress, which I actually got at least two or three uses out of while I was in Paris. I wore it to dinner one night when we were in Champagne. So it was the nice, it was a perfect like nice dinner kind of a dress. This with a red lip and yeah, I really loved it. It's like pleated. So I kind of knew that it would be good for like a nice dinner type situation. And then, total shocker, I got not one, but two black dresses. <laughs> I know, I never wear black, but I just felt like in certain situations, it was just right, you know? So like, for example, this one I wore at the opera. We took those beautiful pictures and videos at the opera. I just felt like, had we been able to get actual opera tickets, I might have worn something like this, and I knew that this is the type of dress that I could definitely wear somewhere else in the future. Like I could probably wear this as like a wedding guest or just really anything else, maybe to like a nice dinner in New York. And then this dress is um, the one that I wore to the Eiffel Tower pictures where I was dancing around and the Eiffel Tower was sparkling and I just really loved it. I was looking for something specifically exactly like this because I had in mind this image in my head of one of the scenes from season one of Emily in Paris where she went to like this party for work and she had this dress which just kind of came out of the bottom probably in like a tool material and I wanted it to be velvet on the top and when I saw this I thought this is basically exactly what I'm looking for so I got it and I wore it for that moment and I thought that it was just perfect. Now moving on to beauty I went to Rouge again the same place where I got this pink coat and I got a little palette so this is it's got like a tortoise shell pattern and then you open it dun 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 and it's got these beautiful colors so these at the top are very shimmery so I use them as a highlight or an eyeshadow and then these at the bottom are more reds and pinks so I use those as either a lipstick or a blush and I found that they're it's actually been really nice and it looks beautiful <laughs> when you just put it on like a tabletop or something I think I took a pretty picture at Lottere one day with this and I find that this is great for touch up so like if I keep this in my handbag and say if I'm like out and about, I can just double check 
and then kind of you know put a little bit more blush on or something because I find that throughout the day my makeup tends to wear off. And then also from Rouge, I got this red lipstick in the shade Jeanne, her namesake color. It is a classic red, and I wanted this one because it's more matte. I realized that when it comes to lipsticks, I actually really prefer matte lipsticks over shimmery lipsticks, because it just gives this sort of like diffused kind of a look that I really love and I think this is a cool shape for a lipstick. It's like a pencil kind of um, and it's really thin and it fits in all of my like tiny handbags really well. And then I at, I forget, it was either Galleries Lafayette or La Samaritan, La Samaritan. It was one of those two where I found this in the be on the beauty floor. It is from Givenchy. It is a blush and it's got like well, I don't know if I could show you without it all falling out, but it has four different little sections in there of like a loose powdered blush rather than a packed powdered blush, and they're all very, very bright pink, kind of like the Puff Cloud Peep from Glossier Color, sort of like that. So I just like it. I don't know. I love like very pink blushes, sort of like the Dior Rosy Glow, kind of in that family. So yeah, I love, I've used this actually a lot while I was there, and Hopefully we'll continue to. Okay, and then last in the beauty section, I went to this place called La Facine Universal Bouli, and it was a recommendation from my friend Ashley, and I got th four things there. So the first is this body oil. They, this is like the heaviest bottle ever. This is like, I don't know, it's like ceramic or something, and then it has this super heavy, metal cap like just the cap on its own is really heavy the one that I got is sort of like an orange floral flavor flavor scent <laughs> um, but I just thought it was so nice in there it's like you go in and they have all of the scents kind of laid out and you sort of squeeze the thing and you smell each one and here's the name of the one that I got it's like a floral orange one and then this is the name of Officine Universal Bouli. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's how it's spelt. So I got that, and then I also got a soap from them. So they have these really nice packages. So this one came in, in, in this one, and it's just a soap. It smells so good. I think it's the same scent. Yes, it's the same scent, the, the perfume Fleur d'Oranger. <laughs> I don't know but it's, it smells so good to me. But I figured, I don't even know if I could use this soap for my hands, but I want to put it in my drawers with my clothes to just make my clothes smell good. And then I got these. So you can customize everything in there. One thing that I got that I customized was a comb. So it looks like this. I customized it to say Taylor. You could kind of put anything that you want in gold and it is a teasing comb so i tease my hair a lot because i have very fi very fine thin hair and it comes in this beautiful little red pouch i feel like things from here would make really great gifts because you can like personalize it for someone and give it to them this i think is a really really great gift because this is like anyone would love this um so i picked the the pouch color for this one i picked the pink but they had so many different colors and then inside, this is like a very classic known French thing, is this little lip balm in its own case. So I put, customized it again with TM. You can pick the color of the top and then the color of the actual case. And they sort of make it for you there. And then when you open it up, it's your own lip balm and then a mirror at the top. Just cute to like keep in your handbag. And I don't know, it's so much nicer than any other lip balm that I can think of. So if you're in Paris and you're looking for a gift for someone, I think that this is like the perfect place to come to. All right, and then the last section is probably the biggest section. This is the French Pharmacy Skincare. I'll try to rush through this. Okay, so first, Yolette, this is her new packaging. This is the Boom Boom Milk. Love the Boom Boom Milk, use it every morning. So here it is. If you don't know what this is, it's a three-in-one cream spray. So it's your moisturizer in the morning, but also your serum and your toner. So all I do in the mornings now for my skincare routine is I splash my face with cold water. Then I shake this up 
two spritz on my hands and then I go all over my face and then I apply sunscreen, lip balm, and then I'm done. That's my whole morning skincare routine because everything is in, that you need is in here. She also has this beautiful cap on the top. I just love it. And it's fun that this is her new packaging too. So I got one of those in the pharmacy because she does sell in the pharmacies now, which is really exciting. And then I got the smaller version too. So now there is finally a travel size, which I haven't even opened this yet and looked at it, but it's so cute. <laughs> It's so tiny. It's like the smaller version. Let's compare. Oh, I love that. So now that I have these two new packagings, once I run out of these, they're refillable. So you can just buy, she sells um, like a refillable, kind of like a big pouch that you can just pour in. So that'll be me forever now. It's a little expensive, but it's very good. And actually the pharmacist said the same thing to me. She's like, it's expensive, but it's very good. Um, so I feel like if she says it, I trust. I immediately got some Bioderma when I arrived for taking my makeup off. This is the creme de la creme of makeup removers, so I just always use this on a little cotton pad and then I go in with my cleanser. But uh, yeah, so I got some of that. I usually, when I go, I'll get the new, new Nukes um, oils, the sprays, because I love them. But I actually have too many bottles of them right now that I haven't even used. So I didn't buy that, but I did <laughs> get some of their body, their other body products. This one is for in the shower. So this is like a, a shower gel. And then this one is a moisturizer and they smell amazing. So it's kind of like, I don't know if you're like, have a day where you want to really pamper yourself or just like, I don't know, do something a little extra. I think these two together smell amazing. Sunscreen, I got this. This is, we don't have access to this in the US. I wish I bought another one, but that's okay. This is from Caudalie. It is their SPF 50 plus face sunscreen. And I was debating between this one and the La Roche Posay SPF 51. And she was saying that actually this one is better. I really like it. Next thing I got is Too Faced. <laughs> this brand, I feel like I had seen it before, but we don't really have it everywhere here in the US. And I had gotten a mini one and I was using it throughout the whole time that I was there. I was like, I'll just get the, the mini travel sized one and if I don't like it, then no harm done. It was really like probably two euros, <laughs> but I ended up actually really liking it. So I got the big size and I am a major Crest user. I might be switching now. Yeah, I don't know. It's also nicer looking packaging. I don't know, something about it in the bottom. I don't know, it's just, it's just cool. So <laughs> I got one of these. So I've never seen these actually in any stores in the US. It's like so hard to find. This is some, this is a, sorry. It's a L'Oreal Vitamino, Vito, Vito, <laughs> Vitamino color. It's like a 10 in one spray. And my friend who works in the salon actually sent this to me and I loved it ever since she sent it to me. And I was worried about finding another one since she doesn't work at the salon anymore. But I, when I saw it there, I grabbed it and I was like, I need to get one. So I'm glad that I have a backup now for when my first one runs out. And also I was using this when I was in Paris because I didn't really bring a ton of hair products with me. So having this while I was there, since it's just like a 10 in one and with heat protection, I was like, say no more. Biafine, I've never tried this before. I've seen a lot about it on TikTok and apparently it's for burns. So if you get like a burn or like something like that it's supposed to help but yeah if i ever come across a need for it i will be trying that out i got four different things from this brand called fur furte Fur i don't know it's this <laughs> it's for like hair loss so i got two different shampoos a conditioner and then this thing which is serums and then it has it just came with an extra little Thing on the side but basically you guys know I've been having issues with my hair so I thought let me just try it all and see what works what doesn't work I mean it's worth it to me because um, <laughs> hair is sort of important so yeah I got different shampoos I don't know if anyone who is 
French or lives in a country that sells this brand if you have any recommendations of like which one is the best but I'm gonna give it a go for all of them. I got a little mini chlorine dry shampoo. I don't. I try not to use dry shampoo that often because it can kind of clog up your hair, but I like the mini version because I feel like in a pinch if you're traveling or even if you're just out and about and your hair just looks a little, I don't know, and you want to sort of zhuzh it up a little bit, it's not bad to have one of these on hand. So I got one and then the last thing I got was the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Balm. Other thing I have in here, this is what I got from Repetto for with these shoes. He said to like clean and restore the shine of the patent leather is what this is for. He said like every couple weeks. And then I got, this is just a little ring holder. She's a ballerina. I got it from the opera and I thought that it was just cute. I'm hopefully we'll be getting a vanity and <laughs> could actually have a place to sit down and do my makeup in this apartment and when I do, I thought that this would look really cute on my vanity table. And then, sorry, I got so much stuff in Paris, I just like keep remembering things. I got this, it's like a hot water bottle. I used it last night, I've never used one before, but I was like, this is really comforting and nice for in the winter time. I was just really freezing cold last night and I thought like, well, how can I just get warm? and I filled this up. Sorry, my battery died, <laughs> but I, I think I was just saying that I filled this up with some warm water and it was very warm and comforting for the winter. Oh, that reminds me, I did get another thing too. Hold on. I got a robe. So there were so, in, I don't know, like the area that my apartment was in, which was St. Germain area, it was like the St. Germain Sciences Po, that's the area that I was in and they had a lot of home stores and so anyways there was like a lot of furniture stores fabric stores and then it kind of went into like some home stores where it was like pajamas and sheets and towels and robes and i've been wanting to just get like a really nice robe that was like a towel sort of material and i saw this one i thought that it was cute because on the actual collar it has this pretty sort of pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that. I like my robes to be really kind of oversized and just like engulf me so that I'm really cozy. Kind of like when you go to a nice hotel that has robes, they're always really huge. And so I actually ordered, got, I picked out the extra large size and it's still not even that big. It's like, it's like as if it's a size small on me. It's I'm very confused. I don't know if it's meant to be for kids, but like the woman in the store helped me with the sizing. I feel like she would have said this is child size. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. So yeah, I got this. The brand says this. Yeah, I really like that. I feel like this plus this, I'm just like almost like cocooning for the winter. Like I'm preparing for a cold winter and I just want to be cozy here <laughs> in my apartment. So I got those and then the very last thing I think <laughs> is an ornament. So I saw this also in the opera and I just thought that she was, she was cute. And I don't know if Lyle and I are going to get a Christmas tree this year or not, but if we do, then I want to put this on it. And I thought that it was lovely. So that should be everything. If there's anything that I missed, which is definitely possible, although I really think I got everything. But if I if I missed something, I'll definitely talk about it in a future vlog. But yeah, I think that's it for now. I loved making this video because it was like sort of me like reliving Paris all over again and now I get to kind of figure out where I want to put all these things and just get used to having them all but yes thank you guys so much for watching I'm excited for this weekend it's gonna be my first vlog like full weekend vlog in New York make sure that you stick around for that um, and subscribe if you haven't already and also check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay Bye.